up you guys it's Inez and welcome back for another video so today is a super exciting day we are going to my best best friend's book signing and I am so happy for her this is my friend's book we went to the University of Southern California together her name is Dose and she wrote this book called Signs and Sky Mates, The Ultimate Guide to Astro Astrological Compatibility. So I am so happy for her. We are going to support. She's going to sign my book. And this is like a real book that was published. You can buy it in Barnes & Noble. Um, definitely check it out. It's about getting to know yourself, your partner. Highly recommend. We are on the way to her book signing, you guys. I'm so excited. It's Saturday. Yay! I just came from the gym, worked out, took barbell strength, and came home, ate breakfast, lunch, had a smoothie, and now we are on the way. We're a little bit late, but I already told her we were going to be late, so it is okay. Um, but I'm going to take you guys along with me, so let's get it! Often Sagittarius will make an abrasive comment with no consideration as to how their water sign companion may take it. As a fire sign, Sagittarius allows most circumstances to roll off their back, or at least this is the impression they give off. Scorpio, on the other hand, usually does not care about other people's opinions of them, unless the opinion comes from someone they care about. If that is the case, Scorpio can harbor their pain, hurt, frustration, and resentment deep within them and may end up holding a subconscious grudge. At their best, Scorpio and Sag co-workers use their striking contrast to create exponentially successful pathways in their careers. They're inspired by each other's differences and become empowered allies who invest themselves fully into the ventures they love. Romantically speaking, miscommunication or differences in the nodes of communication are a potential downfall, downfall of a Scorpio-Sagittarius pairing. They can also become tired of one another and blame each other for problems in a relationship rather than taking personal or joint accountability that's funny i don't think that's true with us that i think that friendships or that's like romantic well it says that when issues arise we need to take the time to reflect on what the, our triggers are and i think we've already passed that point in our relationship like reflecting on what our triggers are and not allowing those things to trigger us because you have to in any relationship no matter who it's who you're with you can't be a ticking time bomb you know all right so we're walking to her house now it is all the way at the top of this hill i got my scorpio brother with me Right on, brother Scorpio. Right on. Right on. Ah. <laughs> right. Show him what the Scorpio is talking about. <laughs> hey, can you get my outfit? So you gotta show the Oh. The light isn't good though. Oh, okay. So they must, it was just so African of them to bring gifts. So I was like, wow. Like, it was, it was like, cool. <laughs> 